Perfect. Today's video, we start here at the roadside, and this is the Lontrethan, what's it called, the Lontrethan Nature Reserve, Wildlife Reserve. We've been at Lontrethan oh, recently on a video, because the water's really low, so I've come to this different side, this is a completely different location at the other side of the loch, and we'll see if we can see anything cool. If the water's low, we'll probably be able to walk right around the side where you can't normally walk. I, I hate to negotiate this woodland path here before I get to the loch. Look at all these raspberry bushes here. Oh, there's some healthy rasps on there, like. Good old Scottish rasps, folks. This time of year, they're just in their prime. A lot of the little birds and anything that you can hear, they'll be eating out of that. That'll be great food for them. So it's a wildlife reserve, so all this land is just kind of for the animals. The whole way down to the loch. Look at the size of this fern, folks. Proper jungle looking thing. There's all these dead trees here being left at the side. I'm guessing that's for the wildlife just to like live it and all the grubs in it and the woodpeckers will come along and eat all that. This is cool. It's cool to get out and about. Last week I didn't really go for much missions or that. The weather was absolutely terrible. The rain was just so strong. There's the first piece of wildlife we've seen, like. Big slug. It's honestly like walking through a jungle and here we are, these trees and bushes. See, this is where the path kind of splits. Years ago I was down that way, but it looks fairly overgrown. Look, here's an old bridge over this wee barn. I think the bridge is made to be old railway sleepers. They were used for a lot of things. But I don't think you're allowed to use them now because they contain Crusoe or something like that. Some of the new rules can. I can hear some birds out on the loch. Sounds like geese. Mm -hmm. Like someone's recently taken the bark off of that light. See, I think this this is like a bit of land that juts out in the loch. And it's like a circuit here at this path. Every time I turn up at places like this, I scare off the wildlife, so we'll approach here quietly folks. Right, I'll just record, I can see geese. There's tons of geese. Let's check this out. We're going for the quiet approach folks. This whole area here is normally water. It's normally one today from all. It's just like just like a, a flat plain of land with tons of geese on it and they're squacking. The 
Wow, folks. This is like walking into a scene for planet Earth here. Look at this, we've found Geeseville. I've never seen so many geese in one place here. These geese are massive. I'm sure like if I went over near them they could like charge me down. Peck me. I don't want to scare them off either. I was planning on actually walking a right around there, but I can't do that if there's like wildlife there. This must be one of the main kind of feeds into the river there, in, into the loch. Our tributaries, that's what the word is I'm sure. I can see people over at the other side here doing something. I don't know if they're camping or what they're doing like, but I just hope they take their litter home. I'm sure recently there was some folk camping up here and they just left that in line. Which is pretty disrespectful like to the land here. All these geese will be running about with like ten vodka vodka bottles on their head now. There's, there's like drone flies, hover flies all over this purple plant. They probably didn't show up on this camera like that. These flies can just hover stationary. And also they disguise themselves as wasps. Which is a cool thing. They're cool flies, totally harmless. I don't know if it came out on the camera too well, like, but a lot of spider webs hanging between these trees. The geese just make a constant noise. I can't believe it. The wildlife reserve, it's crazy. Like, I've already just seen, like, so much wildlife. I've walked, like, not even a mile. That's incredible. It's unexpected as well, folks. So this is one of the bird hides here for monitoring the bird skin with your binos. But I think because of COVID it's closed just now, unfortunately. Look at that, wasps and hide. But the hide's actually closed because of COVID, folks, so we won't get in anyway. There's the little sign. The door's probably actually open, but I'm not even going to try it because I'm not breaking the COVID rules, folks. Look at this, there's a little area here you could get in random bucket line in there. This tells you about all the animals actually that you can find here. Fucking bumble bumblebee just a bit wet in my lug. Yeah this is the kind of goose that we are seeing out there on the water. Canada goose. Distinct with a black neck and head with a white chin strap. Sounds like a loud nasal repetitive honking noise. There we go. Can we hear it? I can hear it folks. They're not as loud as the words though. That's the ones that you see flying in the classic V shaped formation. That's interesting folks. The Canada goose. Branta canadensis. That must be the Latin name for that bird. 
So there you go, you get it all on this channel, folks. I wonder if there's like a little pass. Looks like there could potentially be a little beach area there. spider webs on my face again. This is a path but it looks like it could be crazy rain rains here. them off. It's because I come through the grass like a like a rhinoceros. Look at this, we're out here on this like I'm not wanting these things to attack me like but I don't think they would fly into the trees so I'll just run that way if they come over. Oh wow. See that this is the opposite side to where we were the last time I was at the dam. I'm hoping that these kind of dig east and they come over here like Oh they've got big tards like they've that's like sheep. Oh I can see a boat right here, this is cool. Fisherman. Oh there's a massive crew camping way over at the other side, at the top of the the top of the loch. Tons of people fishing. I'm going around this forest like there's probably geese just all over here. Normally all of this is underwater. I see when those geese take off, it's incredible. It's like a B-52 on the runway. And those birds are like a meter or mere across. Oh there's tons of people camping. They've got a fire now and go over there. People are just loving the dream around here. Oh, right now we can see it. This is what I wanted to see, folks. Over here, I can see where the dam is that we were at. Over there. Right at the direct opposite side of the loch. Yeah, that could even be like. See that bird that just took off? That looked even bigger than. the uh, geese. Here, there's three ducks, there's what, four ducks. So this is it folks, this is just like a raw explorer, like a little bit of Scotland that you didn't often see. Again, there's not so much cinematics or music or that in this video, but it's just, it's just me exploring. These people are coming this direction with a little boat. If you're watching this video, shout out to you, if you're on that boat. I'm just think of a walk right around this forest here, yeah, there's so many geese there. like an ancient pathway. Oh look, there's a wee dike up there. What's going on there? Discovering history folks once again on the channel. Oh look, there's been something there at one time. See that there's a wall there. It's so overgrown, I can't get in there, literally. But, there has been a little building here. I think this is where the square has been. It's just so demolished now. Maybe that stone's in that row there. There's been a foundation underneath the main wall. Who knows? Yeah, it looks like there should have been a wee croft in before the... before the lock was made. I wonder if I... I wonder if they're catching anything over there. We've got seagulls flying over here too. That's, that's another type of bird which is common around this area. I'll have to look on some old maps though and see what this little 
garden and trees here is. This could have been an old like croft. Because the dam at the other side there was put in in the 1800s, so maybe before that there was a wee settlement here with some fields and that. They maybe got bought out, flooded out. Maybe some of those bits of walls is the only thing remaining. We're coming back round to geese, geese land, folks. I apologise for any wind noise in this video, folks. That's what it's like sometimes out on these explorers. Yeah, there's tons and tons of geese, tons and tons of seagulls. It's like unreal. So overgrown. See, normally, like at this time of year, when you could probably get in there to see if there was a flat room or something, you can't actually get over here because there's normally water. Let's just nip through here and have a look. So I can't see any other buildings. But there has definitely been a building over there. We saw the wall. Who knows? It's really too overgrown to go through that way. Interesting place though, folks. The wildlife has been incredible. Oh look, there's a, an unusual looking fungus. Crazy fungus. So I've seen a eating a hole in it there. This is crazy. BKR total jungle exploration. Try to find my way back, like the way I came. What have we got here, folks? An unusual beastie on my hat. I can't even focus it on the camera. I don't think it was attacked. This is the sort of area, so you hate to always be aware that there could be ticks around. You hate to stay vigilant at this time of year. Yeah, it looks like all that's remaining in that wood now from anything has been a wee shed. Maybe this bit here has been like a little causeway kind of crossing kind of bit, if that's the name for a kind of crossing. Look at this, this will be like quicksand. Yeah, that's crazy because it's actually red. But I'm saying it's like quicksand and I go near there. But look at that, it's like oily red. I don't know why it's that colour, it must be the Grand. See, it looks like the wood path's going in that way, but this is my path. It's like some sort of, it's like Vietnam landscape or something. Unusual tree, what sort of leaf is that? I don't even know what kind of tree that is. That's the second tree we've seen with a bit chunk, a chunk to you know. So we'll go back along the opposite way to what we came, because this is the other path. 
see that this is see the design cool along here folks. There's so many of those raspberry bushes like So if that had been a wee like croft or a house at that little island bit where we're at with the trees, that this could have been where the original road came in. The bit we're on. With an unusual bit being dug down here. It's like they've been in earth or something. So there's a slope here and then there's like a whole circle there just like dug out. So I'm not sure what that was for. Maybe they've been taking earth to like fix the road. There's some big trees in this little bit here. It's actually a good little walk down here. It's just, okay, it's not uphill or anything like that. It's just a good level walk. And the amount of nature on display, folks, is just incredible. Look at this one this year. It's incredible, isn't it? Different like types of fungus, isn't it? And you get like they all just look like something for another world. I don't know if I want to go through this, like... <laughs> Too overgrown. There's all these raspberry bushes still here. This is incredible. We're just like in the middle of a... a crazy overgrown area here. There is a path takes you out there to the water. But, like, I'm not just ducking through that again, like. I'm just going through this. Look at underneath that leaf, like, there's something on there. There's something underneath the leaves. Is that what they like? Or is that some sort of creature? Nature is like that, folks. Unexplainable. Is that their seeds that's under there? Looks creepy though. Could be a, a larvae of some type of animal. Who knows? Look, there's a little yellow beast in there on there. Doesn't even focus. There's a green beast at this side, look, see? That's how we didn't want to be walking through that. Sorry folks, you were upside down. They had so many of those beasties on me, I was just realising. That's how we didn't want to be walking through that long grass, folks. It's like a horror of horrible beasties. And the worst thing about the animals, they don't know what they're doing. And they'll be on you, thinking you're a deer or something, biting you. This little nature reserve is definitely worth kind of walking in that. That was cool to see all that, like, those geese and everything. The amount of them made it amazing. And they didn't attack me either, so that was a bonus. And I never also, like, I didn't know there was, like, a little ruin on that, like, bit of land there either. It's crazy, like, you can always like, discover new bits of history, even if you've been, like, in that area before. There's still often more to find. This is the kind of road I end up on Trayton here. You would drive past if you didn't look in any of that was there. It's just a fluke that I found any of that. Scottish Wildlife Trust. Shout out to you. Cool bit of wildlife out there. Look at this death of a card at reservoirs. This old metal gate here has got so much character. I'm pretty sure it starts it's like leaning over more and more every time you see it. And I'm sure there used to be like a little car park here when this gate used to get opened. When we were young, we used to come up here sometimes in the summer and here kick about with the football. Yeah, like there's actually a crazy like type of fungus over here. Look, like. it's gone black. 
black once it's done with. Pure black. That's weird. It's yellow it must be when it's normal. See if we'd seen it last week, I bet that was yellow. That would have been so cool. Anyway folks, I'll end this video here. Thanks very much for watching. We'll see you in the next one very soon. Perfect!